All right, so people say knowledge is power, but nobody like tells you what that means or how to access it. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and do that on YouTube. And I know right now you're looking at me thinking, no, but all right, check this out. You think going to school and shit is how you need to learn. Like, that's great. Pick a profession, try to learn about it. But you need to educate yourself deeper, like uh, about the world around you, about history, about how things happen, about how things work, all right? I'm going to start with the Bible. Uh, a lot of you haven't read it, I know, even though you're, a lot of people are Christian uh, or, or hate Christianity and have, still haven't read the Bible, uh, but you, if, you really need to read just more than the Bible, and if you're not going to read the Bible, you need to get something like this. It's a companion to the Bible. Like, when you look in this, it gets into things. Like, this, th this is hell right here, all right? It puts it in context. It tells you what hell is in the Bible, in it would, in different time periods, two different people, two different, like, it, 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 it's like an encyclopedia. It starts at A, ends at Z, and it goes through everything in the Bible. Like, literally, if, if you think you know the world around you or your religion or anything, get a companion book for the Bible. And if you want to learn more about the world, learn more about everything, all right. Companion to Classical Civilization. Everything we say, everything we do is based on Greek and Roman and Alexandrian and all of these uh, customs and stuff. Like, not just customs, but uh, 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 when they integrated different societies together, it made new things that we do now. So, uh, if you read about classical civilization, you'll learn about uh, the, what the word academy, that's one of the first ones in here, it's academy. Uh, you think it's it just means like a place to go learn. It used to be the only place to go learn in Greece. The, it's the third, it's the second one on here, the academy. There used to be the academy, just one place called the academy. And then like the word clue, it comes from a ball of yarn. Like there's a, like it, it, like the, in ancient Greece, the the word for ball of yarn was just clue, and that it, there there was no such thing as like hey I'm gonna go find a clue before that that, that means ball of yarn. And uh, there's a reason for that if you if you read. And, uh, so I'm, I'm just saying, like, access shit. Like, don't just read the Bible and think you know about it. Read about the Bible. Uh, also, more about the Bible. I'm going to get off the subject of that. The civilization thing, that's not the Bible. That's just everybody. But, uh, this is, uh, oh, first, uh, the Dead Sea Scrolls. This is the actual Bible. This is, they, they, uh, the, they found it in the 1940s, and the Catholic Church hid it for a while. There's books that were taken out. It has the books that, uh, are in the Bible and books that have been taken out. So get a, a copy of the Dead Sea Scrolls and read it because that's the real Bible. And then uh, the Nag Hammadi scriptures. That is uh, other books that were taken out of the Bible. Uh, and uh, some people think that it is uh, closer to what Jesus was actually practicing. I, I'm not going to say anything about whether or not it is, but uh, it's, it's books that were taken out of the Bible. And so, uh, and like, uh, just, just learn about stuff. And all right. Deeper than that, if you like one single thing in there, like if you if like if you find something while you're reading and you like a single thing, like my I personally like Love Hannibal. He's a it's a great part of history. It's a a, a, a great rebellious like spirit in the in history. And like uh, this is the Punic Wars, the wars of Hannibal and the Romans. Like a companion guide to it, so I can sit here and read about A to Z about the Punic Wars and Hannibal and Rome and. Then, if I want to look deeper into stuff, look deeper into stuff. And I've already got books about Hannibal and stuff, but I'm sure I'm going to learn stuff that I want to get more books on. And so, when people say knowledge is power, this is what they mean. Like, read. Read about stuff. Like, get interested in stuff that you, you're you already interested in it. Just learn about how it happened, how how other people have been interested in it throughout history. Like, there's... Cause, all, there's always been like even marijuana has it's had marijuana cults like it, it, the Hindus like it's it, they've been doing it for thousands of years. There's history behind everything. Like it, it, it's it's look into stuff seriously. That's it. Like that's all I have to say. That's knowledge of power. Look into stuff. Read.